What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. It's the one, the only, Yusuf and I'm here with another video to talk about the credit card that I was accepted to. And the credit card that I was accepted to, I've been trying to already apply for it and I've been denied several times. But luckily you do not get a hard inquiry on your credit score when it comes to applying to this card. And now it's time to reveal the card that I applied to. And the credit card I applied to was the Apple card. I know the card has already been out for a while now and I just wanted to get my hands on it because I saw how cool the physical titanium card was and I wanted to get it and I also you know read through the description of what um, conditions you have and everything so it wasn't the most best like credit card but it's decent enough. So with my specific application, I actually got a credit line of 1500 And if you recall, I have a Capital One credit card that offers me 3000 When I saw the credit line of 1500 on the Apple credit card, I was a little upset. So what I thought I could do was maybe call up and see what they can do for me. So I called them up and the lady who was on the other side of the phone she told me it happens just because this is a new application but she also let me know that they do also increase the credit line without you knowing depending on your credit worthiness and also the time you have with the account so right now i have a 1500 dollars credit line and also a very high uh interest rate of 21.99 the benefits and the details of this card I'm going to be explaining right now in this video but I wanted to get my hands on the physical titanium card and show you guys how it looks and what I think about it. Now without any waiting for you guys let's jump forward to when I receive the credit card. All right everybody it's been about a week and the card has arrived came in this cardboard little slip that has the iconic peel off circle arrow. I want to share and explain some details and important things that you should know about the card. And one thing I do want to point out with this card is the process of your application. Because although you do not get a hard inquiry when you sign up and get accepted or denied, you actually do get a hard inquiry when you go to officially accept the credit card. So I'd like you guys to know that you do officially get a hard inquiry on your credit score when it comes to officially accepting the offer and putting the Apple card into your wallet app. So you should really consider your credit score when it comes to applying with these credit cards and officially accepting them. Just in case you don't wanna get bumped down to the lower tier that you were already above. Now this Apple card is basically a 2% daily cash card. Now daily cash is Apple's form of cashback rewards that you receive when you do spending with this card. So like I was saying, the Apple card is basically a 2% daily cash card, but there's chance to earn 3% when you shop at these select merchants. And these merchants include T-Mobile, Exxon gas stations, mobile gas stations, which I think they're related, they're a family branch. Um, also Panera Bread, Uber, Uber Eats, uh, Walgreens, and Nike. Not only that, but you also get the chance to get 3% daily cash when it comes to buying Apple products and also Apple services. All of these daily cash rewards sound amazing, but there's a huge, huge, huge thing you should know. These 3% and also 2% daily cash rewards are only offered if you use Apple Pay through your phone. There are plenty of stores that still have yet not accepted Apple Pay as a form of payment, and that's when the physical Apple card comes in. Now you still don't get left out of the daily cash because when you use the titanium card you will get 1% daily cash back. And you know something's better than nothing. You can also save up the daily cash you've been earning because it doesn't expire and you can use it just like cash. Transfer it to your bank account, send it to a family friend, whatever you desire. I think I did enough talking about the details and the important things about this card that you should know. Now I hope you're excited as I am because this is the first time I'm seeing it and let's just get right into opening the package. All right, so for my ASMR people. All right, so it's like a cardboard envelope and we scoot it out, the Apple logo 
All right. Now I, I'm just kind of seeing it first before you guys get to see it just in case, which I am gonna cover something, my second last name, but this is a reveal. Whoa. So that's pretty much what you get, like a little white envelope carrying your card. Now let's take it out. All right, so I went ahead and took it out of the box and put a sticky note thing up here. As you see, it is full on titanium metal and the back looks pretty cool too. Another thing is the security of this card. If you end up losing it, you could not get any information out of this card just the name of the card holder because it has no numbers and as you see it is given by goldman sachs and it is a master card but it's so cool i don't know what do you guys think do you like it do you not make sure you leave it in the comments okay so this video is not over yet just because i want to end it off by having you guys hear of course the drop on this card first i'm going to be testing it Metal against metal. Here it goes. That was unsatisfying. Now let's say you're going to be paying dinner one night and you end up using your Apple card. As you're about to hand your card over, you accidentally drop it and... All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another video of mine. I really appreciate you guys. I hope this video was educational and also entertaining so you guys get to see the credit card and as well as the details about it. Once again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the next video.